Now another thing is um, Larry Wheels has been uh, you know been in our arm wrestling world for the, like, the last two years and all. And I, I was hearing rumors. Were you the actual first person to bring him into arm wrestling? Not. I'm not a hundred percent sure of that. But four four and a half years ago, okay. I had an arm wrestling tournament at the San Diego Convention Center, and there they were having the, the biggest powerlifting event in the country. Okay. And I was there, uh, contracted to run an arm wrestling event, and I did that. And that's where I met Adam Silver again. A friend of mine for over 20 years that I used to train with when I was 19 years old at Dave Patton's house in Virginia. This guy um, is there with Larry and come to find out he's Larry's media manager or something, camera guy, you know, best friend. I don't know, they're boys. And Adam immediately runs up, he's like, what's up? And then he's got Larry and he actually has the, the gentleman that just passed away too, Larry's buddy, who was the nicest guy in the world. And that guy, was more interested that day in arm wrestling than Larry or Adam. Um, so I spent a lot of time with that guy, a little time with Larry and introduced him. And then we were about to set up a match where I'd do my little skit, because Larry was pretty famous there at that powerlifting, because he was like the strongest powerlifter or something. Maybe the either the strongest bodybuilder or the best powerlifter or the prettiest, I don't know. He did a little crossover between the bodybuilder and the strong man and the powerlifting that made him cooler than everybody else at the event. And I walked up to Adam, I'm like, yo, if your boy wants to come over here while I'm mashing all these people, making a big joke of it, and get up on stage, I'll call his ass right up. And then I will allow Larry to beat the beast and the crowd can go crazy. Larry agreed, Adam agreed, but the lady who ran the tournament was so impressed with the turnout of the, not the turnout, the, she was impressed with the show. Okay. In other words, we had 12 or 13 pretty good 165 to 176 pound guys that were competing in this uh, Alan Fisher Invitational that was involved in the tournament. I think we had a couple, maybe a thousand dollars or something on the line. So it ended up being Alan Fisher and Jamie Sheldon and the Angry Bird. And it was a bunch of good arm wrestlers. Um, and they put on a great show and I was on the mic. And of course, we're calling people out. People are trying to flip the dumbbell, trying to hold the hammer. So. She was just super impressed that there was another show that was mixed in, not at the main stage where she was. The powerlifting was going on. And powerlifting in itself is not the best spectator sport in the world. So they're super impressed with that. Larry and them were over there. So she, I told her what I was gonna do and she said, listen, I didn't have two people that want you guys back. So I wouldn't let Larry win. I wouldn't do that skit. I would keep yourself very big so that we can come back and do this next year. And um, and I think that there was a lot of money. I think she gave away more money than anybody else, even more than like, you know, a classic when it came to powerlifting. So that's how I met Larry, fucking great guy. And I am so impressed and surprised that he took on that project as hard as he did. Um, now, do you have a relationship with him today? Or are you in contact? With no, I'm in contact with Adam. Meaning okay. I talked to Adam. I talked to Adam a week and a half ago and my words were, I know Larry's in New York. If you would like to have a left-handed match with John Brzee at on October 23rd, we would love to have you. And we also like to know what the number is. I'm not saying we can get the number, but I'd like to know what the number is because I feel like Larry can bring a lot from a social media standpoint. So, Larry, if you're listening, you just heard it. October 23rd, if you want a shot at the GOAT, left-handed, hit up me or Travis. Well, not the GOAT. I'm the GOAT, left-handed. But if you can have a... Shot at the right-handed goat, left-handed. <laughs> How about that? <laughs>